For some time now, I've been looking for um, a really good vlogging camera. I could use my iPhone 6 Plus, but when it gets low light like today, really, really dark low light, you need a good um, camera that you can manually control. And that's what this one is. It's the Sony A5100, and it can swap out lenses. So I've got on it a Sigma 19 millimeter, sort of wider angle aspect. And it's on manual focus, so I can actually focus right in on my eye before I start the film. And as you can see, it's pin sharp. And I can control the ISO, the uh, f-stop, and the shutter speed. At the moment, it's 1 60th, 5.6 at 640 ISO. And I can control the white balance and all the other aspects. So for me, having a camera like this is really important. Plus, it's so small, I can stick it on a clamp on the side of my table opposite my computer and I can do a piece to camera almost every day now. It's just a setup that's there and I can talk to freely. So this is the kind of thing I'm moving towards. Um, different cameras in different contexts for different setups. In fact, I'm doing dual sound because the sound on the camera isn't great. It's got stereo speakers, but it's not fantastic. So I'm taking sound into my Sennheisers straight into um, an iRig Pro Duo into my iPhone 6 Plus and syncing that up. It takes seconds for me um, because I'm in the studio. It's easy to do. So I think you'll agree this is a beautiful, superb picture. And uh, I love this camera. Plus, the big plus I discovered today is that you can get the old FD lenses, the old Canon FD lenses, which cost 20, 30 quid on the internet. And if you buy a, an adapter to the Sony, you can use them on that. And since I'm filming, um, statically mostly interviews that's brilliant plus it's also rekindled um, the joy of ordinary sort of photography again where i've rediscovered um, everything about all the manual um, lenses and how to uh, take the shots and looking at light and i just love that so i would recommend the sony a5100